everybody I am the creative lady and this is Nat Delicious TV my natural hair and beauty channel in today's video I am going to unbox my essence beauty box for August and uh, let's jump right on into what's inside the box I've already opened the box used the product so this is just a sharing so in this box the theme is fab and fuss free from essence beauty box for august i unboxed the box i think when i first got the box on instagram so it's not a surprise if you don't like spoilers turn away now but first in the box was a coupon or a percentage off nubian skin and this company caters to women of color looking for the perfect nude undergarments and hosiery so i am excited to hopefully purchase something very soon from nubian skin so thank you guys for the 10 percent off next as a librarian it's something i can never get enough of I and mean, we probably had about four or five tubes of lotion in our beauty boxes but hey i can always use lotion and i like it and these are from scan and company and there are two different um scents it does an umbrian truffle and then there is a citrus amaro or amaro hand cream so yes definitely thank you guys for the hand cream so this is a high pro pack Keratin Maintenance Replenish Mask. And it's an intense treatment with stores keratin protein for stronger, smoother hair. It's a generous pouch and I will definitely read up on it and use it appropriately on my natural hair. So thank you for this. And I think this is another one of those either or products. Either you got this one or you got the Eden Body Works Co-Wash and I got the uh, protein pack. And then there was three samples from the Sweet Spot Labs, and these are on-the-go wipettes for the JJ. And there were two scents in here. I think this is a grapefruit verbena, and then there is a neroli mandarin. So I have not tried these, and you know, you can always use some white for the JJ, right? Um, I'm not sure, but I think they are tested so that they're not, you know, to disturb the pH balance, so, you know. Yeah, but I haven't tried these, so I can't attest to any claims about these products, okay? Next, there was a sample from Onion Handmade, and this is their hairdo. I have used a lot of products from Onion Handmade, but it has been a while since I purchased something from them. So it's exciting to get another either or, and I ended up getting the Onion Handmade, as opposed to, I think, a Camille Rose coconut something or another. So I got the Onion Handmade hairdo. I've used their burnt sugar pomade, their juices and berries spray, and some other things by Onion Handmade. So I love the line. I'm glad to have gotten a sample. I used it on my hair last night when I prepared for the week. My hair is going to twist out, and uh, the weather in Memphis today was wild and crazy. It was wet, windy, humid, you name it, we had it. So overall, my hair is good. Uh, it didn't have any hold. But my hair is soft and um, I got a little definition, but it's just not a strong hold, okay? So I'm not sure if it has glycerin in it or not. I don't know, but my hair liked it. What I love most about it, it smells just like the burnt sugar pomade. So like a sugar caramel, sweet honey biscuit, something other. Yes, but people just want to just huff your hair, okay? So, so after work, I went straight to Target and picked up an 8 ounce bottle of the Onion Handmade Hairdo. So yeah. I love Onion Handmade. I love the scent. So I had to support another um, black-owned business. So definitely thank you, Onion Handmade. The final product is a, um, a liner, a nude stick. But it's not nude. It's night. It's a black fat pencil. And it's swatched beautifully. It is jet black. If you're looking for a black liner, this is it. When I priced this on the Ulta website, it retails for $24.95. So not bad. We're getting a great bargain. So this box, you know, had some great value to it. But overall, my first time ever, I felt like no shade to the brands. This was just a meh type of box. You know, I, it's just me. I don't like a lot of either or. When I watch the Essence Beauty boxes and they show, well, you get this or you get that. I don't like that. Just say you're getting this and that's pretty much it. I don't like variation. I want you to do the Essence unboxings and show me this is what you're getting. Take it or leave it. But I don't like the, oh, my friend who ordered the box, she got the uh, Camille Rose and then she got the Eden Body Works. She got two black-owned brands in one box and I just got one. No big deal. But 
I don't like the choice, honestly. I, but that's just me. You You're know. never going to please everybody. I know that, but that's just my preference. I don't like the either or. Just stick something in a box and we all get the same thing. Now, that's what I like. Um, like, some people may have gotten a nude stick. It may have been a lighter shade or a different... For, I, I can't see me putting this on my eyes and lips and some other something. I don't know. No, this is... Uh, to me, a liner. I don't think I'll be smoking out my eyes with this. and definitely not putting it on my lips. I don't think. But who knows? It might be vampy. I don't know. But anyway, uh, to me, this box, like again, no shades of the brands or some quality products in here. But just the combination of things just did not work for me completely. You know what I'm saying? So it felt like a husband giving his wife for Christmas or her birthday a pack of dishcloths when she really wanted a diamond bracelet. And giving her sister a diamond bracelet. You know, I mean, it just felt like, uh, what? But, yeah. But that's just me. I'm going to continue to rock and roll with the Essence Beauty Box. I think I renew next month. I'll go in for another six months. And then after that, if it doesn't, you know, remain on par, I will not renew my subscription. So, I have gone in and updated my profile because when I first signed up with them I've been with them since the inaugural box in October November and uh, I don't think there was a profile right away I don't think I had filled out that I had natural hair or what my skin tone was or what I liked in a box so I have since the other night after I got this box went and updated my profile so hopefully it gets a little bit more on par. This is the first box that was kind of just, yeah. But like I said, I'm going to stick with them. Um, so in this video, I'm going to do a quick, maybe an outfit of the day if I can go outside and the weather is not rainy. Because I am feeling so Olympic today. I was in my red, white, and blue. And um, I'm going to try to show you what I had on if I can get outside so I can get some good lighting. Alright guys, I thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. If you want your own Essence Beauty Box, go to EssenceBeautyBox.com. Follow the links. If there's something that I showed you that you want, you can either go to the Target and get it or you can just go to the Essence Beauty Box and what's in the box. And if you didn't get it, you can always buy it. There are links on their website that link out to all of the vendors and brands that's included in the box. Alright guys, I thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. So the weather did impede my complete outfit of the day, but I did get a snapshot selfie. And the top is from Liz Claiborne. I got it at JCPenney. The jeans are Vera Wang that I got years ago at Kohl's. And I love the way they fit. Perfect. And I can work out in them and do what I need to do at work. These shoes were the inspiration for the whole Olympic outfit. And I got them at JCPenney for $8.99. Love them, okay? If images like this are not disturbing to you and you like crazy, quirky, kooky, that would be me. Subscribe to my channel. There will be more to come in the future. Thanks for watching.